we're coming for another one of our walks. It's um, we've got the river doing here. It's just one of the little local places we're out. Uh, we haven't really been here much this year, have we? Once or twice at the beginning of the year, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We did find a lot in here last year. It's a bit muddy like the rain. Uh, we've had a lot. Like Aye, a lot of rain. Because we were meant to go somewhere else the day, but we knew if we got rid of the woods we were going to get soaking. It's, it's a bit wet on the foot now. But you do get sparrow hawks up in these trees. Um, we did find a bullfinch just doing here last year. It had three eggs, but by the time we got rid of it, it only had one. Mm. When we came back with a camera, we were expecting it to have like... We waited, we are going to be waiting until it had a full clutch, didn't we? Chances are they need both finches new still last They should still be, aye, because they're double and treble brooded. Yeah, like the same yogurt's probably. Aye. And that's, yeah. that's the pathway we from the, the little horn last year, no? The little deer. Aye. Little deer. Oh, they're doing the Aye. Well, we're doing though by the water's edge. And so you've had a lot of rain last week because it's a lot higher than normal, isn't it? It is, aye, and it's a lot dirtier and all. Like, it's, there's a lot of wash coming down into it. We were doing it in early spring, it was kind of clear, wasn't it? You, you could see everything in here. It was crystal clear. It was quite shallow. We might it's struggle up not getting up there. Sure it's still, like, it is higher than normal, but I think it's still good. It's, good. Uh, it's only a, probably about a foot higher, but we do have to go on steppy stones when we're going to cross up to the top part of this. Okay. We'll we'll walk down the bottom and have a look first. Put the camera on there. Quite hard to see, but some whopping sized dragonflies, the big green ones. There's two of them. One's a bit further down. I'm following this one down the water here. It's it's kind of away from us all the time. And there's the other one. And see if I can sit still. Very nice to see these things. That's a brilliant shot, and there's the other one. I can see a couple more further down the water. Let's see if I can get a bit closer at them because they're moving down again. Hello, oh, yeah, I have just getting them back on there. It's coming quite close. There's a few on the river's new, isn't it? Aye. They're packing a little there. They either do eat them, don't they? The Mickey's on them. Aye. Doing the bottom, it's just it's like a little, little blue thing. thing. I, I, I cannot see. Uh, Shall I try and zoom in on it and see if I can? It might just be a bit of a rock, but it just looks mm -hmm. an unusual type of color. But I don't know. It's not... I'll see if I can get under it. It actually looks like it's. I'm moving around a little bit, like it's hard to see it. But Does it look like mountain? I think it's just a rock, is it? it must be like it's been if I had the camera on the tripod, it would be a lot easier, but... It's just a bit too far away. Mm. Probably I just the reflection of the... No, reflection of the water on that, probably. Yeah. Right. We're doing to the, the bottom part, but that's the, the great wagtails what we found. Was there the last year or the year before? Yeah, Sometimes they use the same did, nest again, did like. Did one this year? Did what? Did we not not doing here? Yeah. Not, not doing this part, so I'm going to put the camera on the tripod there and just have a look into the nest. Let's see if I can lift it up in here. Well, up and over, I should say. Shouldn't be climbing up here, really, in the wet. It's 
still looks a bit old, doesn't look like it's been done. Right, so we'll check further up. Kingfish has done a few other things to look at further up. We came a bit further up, but the bank sides. Um, we're at the high port now, well, the high cliff port sort of thing, and that's the kingfish as there. I think it's used the same on this side of the You can see all the fresh crap, don't you? There's, yes. there's even fresh. Are they night shells? Hey, they are. I'm sure they are. Aye, they are. Aye, hundred percent yellow. Hundred percent eggshell. Is that one there? Can you see this? It is, huh? Oh, so there must be the eggs off the kingfish. Aye, the so there must be. Oh, it is. It's the first time I've seen any of a kingfish as mm. egg actually. That's like a good hover one there. Mm. Mm, that one there. All right. So there's. It's definitely yeah, used that one and had chicks in it. Oh yeah, toy egg shells. Mm -hmm. I thought, cause I, at first I thought there were bits of flowers or something, you know, petals. It's it is the first time I've even mm -hmm. seen out of eggs. Mm -hmm. Well, they're pretty much an early run, the kingfish's eggs. Aye, oh, like a little run, aye. A little run white thing. Mm. I've seen them before, like, because there was one year... I know, it, it could have been possible, it could have still been young ones in there, maybe. The double and travel brooding on them. Yeah. So it's yeah. got a good chance, I'm going to lift the camera up to... There's a... I don't know if it's a wagtails or a blackbird or something. Is that definitely there at the beginning of the year? I cannot quite remember, I, I know you're not. I knew there was one further up, but I can't remember Aye. as close as that, is it? I'll just tilt the camera, adjust the viewfinder, and lift it up. Got eggs, I think it's a blackbird or something. Is it? Ah, I can see the blue egg in it. Aye. Uh, <sighs> nah, it was too hard to get the camera to that angle. Uh, I'm gonna lift this camera up in front of the kingfishers now. I thought it would have just been married one early in the year, so it was. Aye, that's what I thought. Hmm. I'll tilt the camera a bit more because the whole gun's off. Well, last time we were here, all these eggshells weren't here, off the kingfisher. So I'd say that we were second or third blue, there's another dragon for them. Yeah, it was in front of us. Right, so I've left the camera on because there is another. I've got bits of trucks and I'd like to see some water springs. And now they demarked the territory. I've seen trucks here a few times. I've never seen what they call the sprints. Right, you so know there's a there's a nest up there. I've checked that one a few times, like with the camera. There's an old blackbird or something, and that looks like an old wren. It does get used as a roost quite a few times. Um, there's that there. That's been cleaned out and made a bit bigger. The kingfishers must be using that one as well. Because they, they do use more than one. They can have eggs in one, well, young in one, and then the, the hen will be on a clutch in another nest. They'll have two nests going at the same time. That's what I've read in the books anyways. Still looking around because we did find a grey wagtails there. You can see the remains of the old one from the other gun. When it's raining, bits of this bank side likes to come down, so I'm not gonna go under it. I'll turn the camera off for now. 
we've just come up a trail already and just in there you can see it's a wood pigeon's nest it's quite low actually isn't it? it is it's not very high at all and it's got a couple of young on it there look at look the cali size like didn't it? Oh, they're a good age they're a good few weeks old like aren't they I'll zoom back out and I'll, I'll lift the camera up now just in front of it. I'll not get too close, I don't want to disturb them. Aye. Because they, they look like they're that size, don't they? Now where they could jump out. They've probably still got a good few gears, I think. Aye. I don't want to like, scare them too much from here. I don't even think that far. Make sure you actually get it on the nest. Oh no. I've <laughs> done a few of that. Uh, quite a few of that. Oh, I can see the nest, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's something that's reasonably interesting. A couple of young squabs there. As they would call them. Let me see the other head to do this side. That's what I'm saying, it's only pretty a proper drone. Aye, it's just not very high. I, I'm sure I looked at it a couple of months ago and last time I was here, but it's had an out. So, I think I'll turn the camera back off and we'll look a bit further in because we heard a couple of bullfinches. You never know, we might just be lucky. Which is a bit further in from where that pigeons was. There's a few. Sparrow heart nests in here, a couple of the old ones. Uh, yeah, um, what I was there before and was saying we could hear the bullfinches over here. And I was a bit further back there and Philip gives a shoot because he's seen a little bird jumping over here. And it's actually Wait. a brilliantly disguised nest, isn't it? You know, you Please with it because it's the first bullfinches I've actually It's put. not even very substantial, you can practically Wait. see through it for a bullfinch. See at first that's how I thought it was now because mm -hmm. they're normally a little bit bigger nests, aren't they? Aye. But um, I'll try and get in with them and stuff, it won't too badly. But I've seen the bullfinches but it's, well, it's normally new, sure. It's the first one I've actually put. It's a little, well. little yew tree. I'll just move some of these little bits of. A little tiny conifer. It's a yew. half foot off the ground, isn't it? It's a the little nest. yew tree, isn't it? Is it a yew or a conifer? Aye, but it's, it's, you know, ah, it's, it's, it's like a fair tree, aye. Yeah. Yeah, but I've got the... And it's working centre brilliantly. So I'm saying it's about like, four foot up off the... Aye. Ah. It's an excellent shot of the eggs there. I'm pleased with it, like I said, it's the first one I've got. Nestling eggs. Yeah. It's got four eggs in. That's brilliant, that. We'll be to come back and uh, film it when the chicks are there. It doesn't get like it's a good one to come back to, isn't it? It is, because it's quite an easy place to set a camera up. No, I'd just keep coming back. It's, it's probably not even four foot, it's only about three and a half, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm sort of... I'm like this high, looking down with the camera into it, quite easily. Got the camera over the top of the nest very easily there. That's a brilliant shot of their necks. It's, on, it's only took us three years, because we well, well, found one last year. It's not bad. When we did come across one, I was expecting uh, to be fine as I normally. Uh, aye, I know. Uh, the one we found cool. last year was up some honeysuckle about a lot high up, uh, about eight foot off the ground, wasn't it? So this one, this one's very easy to look at and uh, to look into without disturbing it too much. And that's what I wanted. Brilliant. Well, I've just put the camera back on. You can hear the bullfinches. They're a little bit alarmed, but we've getting over there. That's where the nest is. You can yeah, see it. That's a good shot of the, what you, the nest and eggs. Ah, uh, the nest eggs the and the bird going back in. You can just see that small little yew tree through there. Please, so, like I'm freezing it. No, that's the one there. I came the other day not really expect to see. No. We're sort of on our way back up the path, we're 
Uh, we're going to be going back to the car and we heard them in there. It was a little bit long now, so we walked in, had a good look through all the small conifers. There was a lot of thick places where it could have nested, but it nested in quite a simple place. Yeah, that's what we were hoping for when we eventually found one. Uh, it was a nice, easy place. And it, and it is, it's brilliant for video. We should get some good film of that this year. We're going to come back in a week's time and stuff like that, so, you know. It's hard street by then. Uh, if if no yeah. gets it, that is, like. But otherwise, you should see a reasonable video or diary of a bullfinch with youngins and stuff like that. Chicks feeding, all of that. But anyways, we're back to the road now, so we're going to call it. We've seen quite a lot. It's been a bit more interesting than what we thought, even though it's August. Right. So there's still birds nesting, which is brilliant. Right, so thanks for watching.